OK, so I have cosine of u divided by 2 equals plus or minus the square root of 1 plus cosine of u divided by 2. And therefore, I now want to be able to determine the cosine of 112 degrees and 30 minutes. So again, what we're going to look at is, now last time we were able to find 1645, right? It's some difference. Um, but we might not, eh, I don't want to go down through that whole route. That might be a lot. And this one might even be a little bit more difficult to think like, what would be the sum and difference of 112 degrees and 30 minutes, right? Because now remember 30 minutes, we're getting into decimals or you know, partial parts of degrees. So what we can look at this is, well, what if I doubled this, what would I get? So if we said u divided by 2 is equal to 112 degrees and 30 minutes, what is u going to be equal to? So again, what we do, multiply by 2. And 112 divided by 2 is 224. 30 minutes divided by 2 is 60 minutes. And 60 minutes equals 1 degree. So we'll have 225 degrees. Now can we evaluate for 225 degrees? Yes, we can. OK. So we go and look at. Um, we go and look at 225 degrees. We know that's going to be 180 plus 45. So the point there is going to be a um, negative square root of 2 over 2, comma, a negative square root of 2 over 2. So therefore, my u, we need to evaluate by looking at the, um, the half angle formula. We need to evaluate for the cosine of that value, which is going to be dealing with a negative square root of 2 over 2. Make sense? So let's plug this in. We have plus or minus 1 uh, minus square root of 2 over 2 divided by 2. All right. Now, again, on, um, again for this problem, what we want to make sure that we're going to do is, uh, which one was I doing? I was doing 43, right? Okay. What we want to make sure that we're going to be doing for this problem is understand where our angle's at. So our original angle, 112 degrees and, and 30 minutes, that's going to be in the second quadrant. And since we're evaluating for cosine, is cosine positive or negative in the second quadrant? Negative. negative. So rather than doing the plus or minus, we're just going to be concerned about the negative value of the square root. So now, again, to simplify this, we multiply by 2 over 2. Therefore, we're going to have now. 2 minus the square root of 2 over 4. And can we take the square root of our denominator? Uh -huh. Yes. So we apply that. We break that up into the square root of the top. 2 minus the square root of 2 over the square root of 4, which now provides us with the final answer of 2, my, or negative 2 square root of 2 over, all over, 2. And there we go. Just practicing some fun. So every time you multiply by 2 over 2, right? Yes. All depends on what size your denominator 